All right, guys, we got the uh, Wildcat 223 mounted up on Hutball's Johnson. She's ready to step out and do what she does best. Uh, this is going to be the best comparison I can give you to a Predator 212 Hemi with stage one and 32 degrees of timing. That's the exact engine that I just took off of this cart. It's the engine that you've been watching it step out on. Um, you know, it runs great. It does great. Uh, we're running this on a regular 30 series torque converter. So we're going to be able to keep a load on this engine uh, where it's governed. That was the problem that we are having. The Super 30 series allows the belt to travel quicker to use the RPM of the motor. Um, what it does is it kind of stays in a, a um, it works so smoothly. This is the easiest way to put it. The Super Series works so smoothly uh, at higher RPMs that it takes the load off of the engine. So if you cannot achieve, I'd say, 6,000 RPM or so, uh, you can't really keep up with it. And it goes into that overdrive thing that torque converters do where you just kind of it stopped accelerating and stopped using the motor. Now, if you didn't have the governor in the motor, obviously you could go past that point and you could use the Super 30 series. Uh, you know, I tried everything I could to get the regular 30 series on there. And guys, I had it to about, you know, an eighth of an inch on the end of the shaft and I just didn't feel comfortable. Uh, I spent hours trying to make spacers, trying to sandwich it in there and get it to stay on, which it might have, you know, for a couple runs, but not worth damaging the output shaft or the driver itself. So, you know, I put the kibosh on that. This is the best way to do it. Um, you know, running a 60 tooth live axle, same thing as before, uh, you know. The cart's looking good. It's ready to roll. Uh, the only downside to it's the brakes. This thing's got that terrible band brake on it. It's missing, I think, piece of the mount for it. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with these things. Uh, I know that it has to be on there straight in order for it to work correctly. This one barely works at all. So, you know, if you see me feathering it, uh, that is because... I'm not sure if it's more torque or more RPM at this point, but when you get towards the end of a donut, if you're full throttle on this, it comes around too quick and you lose your radius. Uh, a couple times, you know, you can see I've gave it a couple test runs uh, just to make sure it's safe. But um, you can get into a tight donut with it. This motor will pull through. I'm actually impressed with it, and I think you guys will be too. I'm just really happy I'm able to give you a fair comparison. Uh, you know, I kind of rushed the mods on the bike more than I wanted to. Uh, you know, the Trailmaster has a lot in store for it. I could have done some, some better testing for you, but I had a feeling after the exhaust, you know, when the motor was on there, that something just wasn't right. So, you know, I tried, guys, but we got it on a cart, and... Uh, you know, let's see what happens, all right? I think you'll like it.
right, so that's that guy. Uh, she's got it where it counts. Wildcat 223. Yeah.